Yo, what is up guys, this is Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a week one preview of the Washington football team versus the Philadelphia Eagles. I will be giving you guys injury updates on both sides, so injury updates for the Eagles and the Washington football team. I will be giving you guys my final score prediction for this game, and I will be bringing to you guys my five keys to victory for the Washington football team. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first let's start off with an injury update on the Washington football team, and then we will go to the Eagles injury update, and then keys to victory, and our score predictions. So uh, Sadiq Charles, Kendall Fuller, Thomas Davis, and Antonio Gandy-Golden were all limited today in uh, practice. Jonathan Allen was a full go in practice, so that is good news. Antonio Gandy-Golden is still dealing with a concussion. That was reported today, but he's been dealing with that for a while. Hopefully Thomas Davis can come back uh, and because he's a good veteran leader, and he's still a solid player. We need Kendall Fuller. Uh, finally came out that it's a knee injury. Hopefully it's nothing with his meniscus or anything. It probably isn't because he's been um, nursing that injury for a couple weeks now, and it was, um, I, I heard that it was a nagging injury, so hopefully he can come back, and then Sadiq Charles, um, hopefully he just keeps progressing, and maybe next week can get some full pad, um, work, because he definitely, definitely needs the work, so now onto the Eagles, and they do have a lot of injuries, so obviously their star guard, Brandon Brooks, is not playing, I think he tore his Achilles and is out for the year, same with Andre Dillard, so their offensive line will most likely struggle a little bit, their left tackle will be Jason Peters, who uh, was playing guard for Brandon Brooks, but now will move over to that left side, Lane Johnson was hurt, but he is a full go in practice. Miles Sanders is also slightly hurt, and I heard they might not rush him in week one, so they might not ha he might not be getting as many touches as he usually would. Uh, Javon Hargrave wasn't present. He's a really good defensive lineman for them. And then uh, Derek Barnett didn't have pads on, so that is very good news for the Washington football team. Obviously, we're not uh, hoping for any injuries, but just... Uh, for our chances of winning, our offensive line is obviously one of the weaker points on this team. So to have a decent D-tackle in Javon Hargrave and a decent edge rusher in Derek Barnett be out, that's going to help out, especially that left side of our offensive line out a lot. How that um, plays. And then Jalen Rieger is... Um, fielding some punts, and I do believe he's going to be out for the game. It was reported he was going to be out for four weeks, and that happened about a week and a half ago. And then Alshon Jeffrey will not be playing. I think he's either on IR or on the pup list. So they have a lot more injuries than we do, and we will see how that contributes to the game. So now we'll get back to this a little bit later, but I want uh, to talk about the keys to victory for me today. Okay, so the first key... To to victory for me is we have to win the turnover battle. Yes, they are dealing with injuries, but they have a very, very good team, and we need to win the turnover battle to win this game. Ron Rivera has a very high percentage of when he wins the turnover battle, he usually wins his game, and it's a higher percentage than most teams. It's in the upper 70s. I do believe it might even be 90. I can't remember uh, for sure, but winning the turnover battle is going to help us out a lot, making sure we don't make any silly mistakes on uh, special teams, any fumbles there would really really, really hurt us. And obviously, taking care of the football on the offensive end, trying to limit the amount of turnovers we had. And on defense, capitalizing on the uh, mistakes that the Eagles make. So that's the first key to victory. And the second one, this one is something we did not do with Jay Gruden, and it really cost us so, especially against this team. So the second key to victory is we need to make some good halftime adjustments. Jay Gruden in week one against Philly, we were winning 17-0 right before half, and then I think they scored a touchdown. So it was either 17-3 to or 17-10, to but we had a big lead against Philly. And then in the second half, we just completely were just terrible, and Jay Gruden made no adjustments, still had Josh Norman, who got absolutely burnt by Deshaun Jackson. He still had Josh Norman, Deshaun Jackson, and just didn't make any good adjustments. And I think you can't do that 
Um, especially against a good team like the Eagles. You have to have good halftime adjustments. And I think Ron Rivera will be able to do that. So that's uh, the second one. The third one is rely on the run game. We don't know what we really have in our pass catchers yet, but our running backs are solid and somewhat proven. And I think you see, you got to see what you have in Antonio Gibson. I think he can be a star. And I really think they're not hyping him up just because they don't want other teams to know how good he is. And I think he's really going to surprise a lot of people week one. So feed him the ball, give JD McKissick the ball too, sometimes out of the backfield, but also pass him the ball. And then same with Peyton Barber. I think we got to, especially if we build an early lead, make sure you're chewing out the clock, uh, running as much as possible. I think that's what you got to do. Obviously, if it's third and four, or third and three or longer, you got to pass the ball, but I think you got to run the ball a lot. That's what worked in 2018 with Alex Smith. We ran the ball a lot and that contributed to our success. So I think that's what we should do there. Rely on the run game, obviously still pass a lot and pass to our backs, but still focus on our run game. Next, this is probably the most important thing and something we did not do at all in the last few years, probably the worst in the league, I do believe. And it is we got to get off the field on third down on defense. We didn't do that at all with Greg Minuski and part of it was disciplined by the coaching and obviously it's still some of the blame falls on the players. We just lost so many games over the last like five years just because we kept on giving up big, big plays on third and five, third and 10, third and 15. And instead of getting off the field and giving our offense the chance to score, we let them score three to seven points. So that is something that is probably the most important thing besides the turnover battle. Get off the field on third down. That's probably the most important thing. We seriously, seriously have to do it. And same on offense. This isn't another key to victory, but gotta make to convert on third down. So the last one before we get into our prediction is you got to make sure we have to make sure we get some points in the red zone where we weren't that great of a red zone team last year and we have to make sure it goes into the turnover battle but no turnovers in the red zone capitalize on those opportunities get at least three points but make sure you're getting a touchdown at least once every two or three times in the red zone and yeah, I think if we do all those things, we can win the game. And it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be um, a gritty game for us. And I think, though, my score prediction, I will tell you guys right now, is I do have us beating the Philadelphia Eagles 24-21. to And here's why. If you're an Eagles fan, just listen to me real quick. Um, I do think the Philadelphia Eagles have a way better roster than us. They've got pretty much a l- way more proven talent than us. They won the Super Bowl a couple of years ago, so they're still not too far removed from that. And But my thing is they've got a lot of injuries. Two-fifths of their offensive line is going to be out. They got a couple starting receivers out. They have a couple defensive um, linemen out, and they got a safety at Willie Parker, so, or he's probably going to be out. So they have a lot of injuries. Second, we haven't played a preseason, preseason. So a lot of the players on our team are young players, Antonio Gibson, AGG, even JD McKissick, who really hasn't uh, been a lead back before or a main one of the main backs. They didn't have a, pre- a preseason to showcase their talent. So other teams have no film on them and also our offense is new so I think um, Scott Turner only called a few games last year so this is a really a new offense especially with these new players obviously this offense has been used before but not with this team and not with these players so it's gonna take teams like the Eagles the first few weeks I think we're gonna have an advantage because it's gonna take teams time to adjust to our new offense um, with these specific players, some players might emerge like J.D. McKissick, Aid, Antonio Gibson, and other receivers or other players. But also, it's a, other um, players are going to emerge, which it's it's going to take a long time for them to adjust, or at least a couple weeks. So I think we can. That's going to give us an advantage, and I think we can win this game. Our defense is going to have to play good. And like I said, we have to win the turnover battle. But I think if we do those things, we can definitely beat the Eagles. I, last year, week one, was a very close game. Really, the two people 
that cost us that game was Josh Norman and Jay Gruden, and they are both gone. We have a way better defensive coordinator. We have a better defense overall, and we're a way better um, coach team. And I think if Haskins plays good, like I said, win the tur- turnover battle, I really do think we can win this game and start the season off 1-0. I think that'll just make everyone's week and i hope we can do that so yeah i want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below usually i wouldn't have us beating the eagles but with this season and these circumstances i do end up having us beating the eagles we haven't beat them the last six times so i hope we can end the streak this year thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash like button subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video cannot wait For week one, we'll be doing a stream on Friday night or Saturday. We'll be talking about the game and yeah, peace.